New for you this morning, Arizona, the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff is getting ready to finally open its new Astronomy Discovery Center, which has been years in the making. It is a state-of-the-art facility meant to attract all of Arizona and beyond. And I'm taking you there this morning for an out-of-this-world sneak peek. It's time to explore space like never before in Arizona. And this is 40,000 square feet. So it's seven times the square footage of our current visitor center. Kevin Schindler with the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff is walking me through the new Marley Foundation Astronomy Discovery Center, where the learning happens the second you walk in. And you're immediately struck by this. The, the theme of this is this is a story of you, from the earliest molecules in the universe till you. Crews are still working hard on getting everything ready on the $53 million building, and once it's done, it'll be a place for all ages to enjoy, starting with the smallest budding astronomers. This is designed for the younger ones, and it's all tactile. Everything in this space is designed for kids to get their hands on and see concepts brought to life, like what it takes to launch a rocket into space. <laughs> It's working. It's working. <laughs> we don't have anything in northern Arizona that's like a kid's science center. And this helps fill that gap. For older kids and beyond, the next hall allows you to explore too. When you come to the Stardust Lab, it's going to look a lot different than it does today. Everyone's still working on those final touches, getting ready for the grand opening. It's all tactile in here as well. You can see light patterns here. Um, what does the universe sound like? We try to show that it's not just I, it's not just sight, there's a lot of ways of experiencing the universe. Maybe one of the neatest features immerses you into space. The state-of-the-art Lowell Universe Theater with a partial wall-to-ceiling screen so you feel like you're among the stars. And we can project whatever we want in here. Um, right now we have a star background, um, but, but this will be a place where we have a couple programs. And sometimes even live actors will help tell the science story. The new Discovery Center is a two-story building. The second floor will house classrooms, meeting areas, and more, and open up to the rest of the campus. But the rooftop is not to be missed, starting with the terrace. Uh, what great views. During the nighttime, we can look up and really get a good view of the surroundings, but during the daytime, we do the same thing. And they've thought of every detail, including the fact that having an outdoor space could be tricky with Flagstaff winters. Everything we're walking on right now, this is heated. And so when it snows, um, this will melt. You, there are drains in the floor. The observatory has been around for 130 years. It's where Pluto was discovered in the 1930s, which is now Arizona's official state planet. And when they thought about building a planetarium, they decided to take advantage of the high country's dark skies. So to get the best experience from this outdoor planetarium, they decided to raise it eight feet so that you can get the best view no matter where you're sitting. And it's, it's not a traditional planetarium. We're not looking at the ceiling, we're looking at the real thing. The real thing, stars, planets, faraway galaxies seen from Arizona's own backyard. And this goes back to our founder, who said imag imagination was vital to any advance of science. They're hoping imagination will leap light years ahead with this new Discovery Center and show all who come through here that space really is for everybody. Now, the Lowell Observatory is closed right now unless you're a member, but it is going to open back up to the public November 13th and then the grand opening of the center that is happening Saturday. That's this Saturday, the 16th. So make sure to head to 12 plus because that's where you are going to see the full tour up for you with some more little tidbits up there. I'm going to show you what makes the rest of the campus so unique, including the special way they light the way on the floor in the dark sky. There's just so many cool elements to it. And Emily, I got a chance to tell you as well that those outdoor seats are heated. They really thought of everything. Yeah, I, 